Christian Jackson McCaffrey was born on June the 7th, 1996 in Castle Rock, Colorado. McCaffrey was born into an athletic family, with his father Ed being a 13-year NFL wide receiver, best known for his time with the Denver Broncos, while his mother Lisa was a soccer standout at Stanford. Christian started playing football at a very young age, but it was high school where people really got to see CMC's pure dominance. And there was a lot of question of what position Christian would play, as there was a big group of people that wanted him to follow in his father's footsteps and play wide receiver, while others believed he should play on the defensive side of the ball and play corner. Or there was even some people that thought Christian was best at punter. However, at the end, with Christian's speed and size, the coaches ended up putting him at running back, and folks, this was the best decision they could have made for McCaffrey, as at Valora Christian High School, Christian was an absolute phenom, racking up 5,300 rushing yards, scoring a Colorado record 141 touchdowns. His ability to get out and break tackles and create space was absolutely immaculate, and because of his ability to catch the ball where he had practiced wide receiver, it made him very hard to guard for opposing defenses, as there would be times McCaffrey would just straight up lineup in wide receiver position, which we would see a lot when he gets in the NFL. Christian would end his high school career as the 77th best player in the country, being a four-star recruit. McCaffrey would end up following in his parents' footsteps, choosing to attend Stanford, and it was here where Christian McCaffrey became a household national name. And after a freshman season that saw Christian only play in a few games, he broke out in his sophomore season rushing for 2,000 yards, running in eight touchdowns, as well as catching 45 passes for 600 yards and five touchdowns. These numbers were good enough to win Pac-12 Player of the Year, being a first-team All-American, AP Player of the Year, and being named second in the Heisman Trophy voting. And in McCaffrey's junior season, he would have another great year, rushing for 1,600 yards, running in 13 touchdowns. After this, Christian chose to skip his bowl game and declare for the 2017 NFL Draft. This draft is known as one of the most stacked in NFL history, with guys like Miles Garrett, massage lover Deshaun Watson, and Patrick Mahomes. McCaffrey found himself going 8th overall as the Carolina Panthers were looking to replace veteran Jonathan Stewart as he was just straight up getting too old. McCaffrey was going to be able to join one of the most dynamic offenses in the NFL with Cam Newton and Greg Olson at the helm. Christian McCaffrey showed flashes of greatness very early on during his rookie season, scoring twice on the ground and five times as a receiver. McCaffrey was the backup, however, to Jonathan Stewart, as this was his year to kind of mentor McCaffrey, but he clearly showed that McCaffrey was going to be the guy for the next season. The Panthers believed in McCaffrey and basically gave him the keys to the running side of the football as Jonathan Stewart would head to New York to join the Giants. Once named the starter, McCaffrey really got to show his true elusiveness, rushing for 1,098 yards, scoring seven touchdowns, catching 107 passes for 867 yards and six touchdowns. It was a great year for the second year back, but nobody, and I mean nobody, was expecting what was to come in 2019, as Christian McCaffrey dominated anybody and everybody who stood in his path, rushing for 1,300 yards, scoring 15 touchdowns, being named a first-team All-Pro, as well as a Pro Bowler. This is when fans, and I'm not just talking about Panthers fans, began to respect Christian McCaffrey as one of the best players in football, and there was a big debate on whether it was him or Derrick Henry that was the best back in the league. However, 2020 pushed McCaffrey back. It was a disaster, not just for the world, but for Christian McCaffrey. As in week two, Christian would go down with a high ankle sprain, only for him to return in week nine to get hurt again with a shoulder sprain. Then, before he was supposed to make a return from that in week 14, he would end up injuring himself in practice, which would end up causing Christian to go down for the rest of the year. But due to his stellar play in 2019, McCaffrey was rewarded with a four-year, $64 million extension with the Carolina Panthers. 2021 would not be much better as Christian McCaffrey had a great, well, 
first three games of the year. As against the Houston Texans, Christian would strain his hamstring, with people starting to question whether he could really be a durable player. McCaffrey would return in week nine, only get to get hurt again in week 12 with an ankle sprain, which would put him on the IR, and McCaffrey would end up missing the rest of the 2021 season. 2022, oh, that was a big prove it year for McCaffrey and the Panthers, as Panthers head coach Matt Rule was really on the hot seat, and McCaffrey had to prove he could stay in games well the start of 2022 was great for McCaffrey however as for the Panthers not so much starting the year one in five and after that the Panthers went to full tank mode as they fired Matt Rule and with that move GM Scott Fittera made the decision to trade Christian McCaffrey to an actual Super Bowl contender so he doesn't have to waste any more time of his prime years running the ball 40 times for a bad team so, on October 20th, 2022, the Carolina Panthers traded McCaffrey to the San Francisco 49ers in exchange for a few mid-round picks for the future. McCaffrey was joining an absolute stacked offense, which included Brandon Ayuk, George Kittle, and Debo Samuel. Adding McCaffrey made them easily the best offense in the NFL, but many wondered how McCaffrey would fit in with all these stars in San Francisco. But it wouldn't take long for those people to be answered. McCaffrey was the best offensive player in San Francisco. He fit right into their offense and he knew his role. He went off. And to top it all off, the guy didn't get hurt. Christian would help the 49ers make an NFC Championship appearance against the Eagles, where he even had to throw the football a few times. Now this year, McCaffrey has been at a different level. This has been his best season so far, as he is on pace to break the single season touchdown record for a running back currently held by Jim Brown back in the 1960s. Many are saying that McCaffrey is an MVP candidate, and honestly, I really can't disagree. And to top that all off, the San Francisco 49ers are one of the best teams in the NFL. And as a Panthers fan who loved CMC while he played in Carolina, he was the last Panthers jersey I ever bought. I have nothing but respect for the guy. I want him to succeed. And honestly, I find myself going for the 49ers when they're not playing the Panthers just because of Christian McCaffrey. I absolutely love the guy. I love his story. He is definitely the best running back in the NFL. There is no doubt about it. I hope the guy can continue to be a durable player for years to come.